my bank the other day, right? I've been there 10 years. I just put, I'm just trying to cash a check. I put my license in the check in the counter. A woman's like, uh, you have a debit card? No. <laughs> uh, you might want to get one. I'm good. <laughs> well, you could use it to write down a vacation if you have one. I go, oh, really? Okay, good. So when I get on a plane on Monday, I could just show my debit card to get on a plane. <laughs> You've seen our next guest on TV, you've heard him on podcasts, and perhaps even his stand-up comedy. And this weekend, you can see him at Side Splitters Comedy Club. But first, Jim Florentine joins us here on The Blend. Good morning. How are you? I Welcome. think I'm wearing the same shirt in that, uh, <laughs> that was four years You were ago. saying, though, you don't even remember that joke. I don't. You know, Is that how long you've been doing comedy now? No, it's just something. When you start doing other material, yeah. you forget that old stuff. Like, did I remember saying that? And you don't know how it goes. So I was interested in seeing that I don't yeah. remember saying that. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting getting to talk with you here a little before we started and, and seeing your comedy you've got you know the, the New York accent would you say you're from where you New Jersey, Jersey, New Jersey yeah. but uh -huh. you've got the accent and it just seems like sometimes it lends itself to a certain brand of comedy like the sarcastic is that what you've been able to find while you've been on that yeah because the East Coast circuit? you're all sarc everyone's sarcastic <laughs> yeah. you're always you know your friends you walk in a room you're wearing a bad shirt everyone's making fun Calling of you for out. 15 <laughs> minutes and you got to defend yourself <laughs> So that's how it's easier to get thick into stand-up that yeah, way. Yeah, uh -huh. you have that thick skin, and uh -huh. you're like, okay, no problem. And then you get into stand-up because you're used to the thick skin. So if you don't get the response back from the crowd, or you get a heckler, you know how to deal with it. So how does Florida treat you? Do you spend much time I love, here? Yeah, I love Florida. I love yeah. the crowds down here. Are great because they're from everywhere. Yep. A lot of East Coast people, a lot of Boston, New York, mm -hmm. New Jersey, all that stuff. So I love coming down here and perform. Oh, all the comics love coming to yeah. Florida. Plus, you know, great weather, and then you know, hot girls. <laughs> so it's well, perfect. You know? it's better than what people usually say. The Florida, a lot of material can come yeah. out of the state of Florida. Well, that too. I know. Oh. I lived in Fort Lauderdale for like five years, so I know. Yeah. <laughs> Every crazy story everywhere is always from mm -hmm. Florida. Like, there we go. We again. own it at, the, at some so point. A guy you know? bringing an alligator in a store uh -huh. and he doesn't remember that he brought it in there. I mean, you know, you probably should if you carry around an alligator. <laughs> One would hope, but not in Florida. <laughs> well, hey, people may have recognized you. Uh, your work with Amy Schumer a lot. How are, how is she doing? How She's often great. are you uh, talking with her? I and, see her in New York City at yeah. the comedy clubs. You know, mm -hmm. that's where we go to work on new material, and she going out on a whole tour. But no, I've been friends with her for a long yeah. time. And she's put me in a bunch of her stuff. The Comedy Central show and also Trainwreck, uh, which is great. Yeah. So. Well, you know, we were talking to a podcast. It seems like, you know, when comedians do come through here, you know, they are talking about their podcasts. You say like, no, you've been doing this long before a lot of these newbies. Eight years now you've had your podcast. Yeah, I've been doing it eight years. I just I just figured it was a good way to promote yeah. yourself and just, I could do it out of my house. You well, know, you can do whatever before. you want at that. I mean. I could do whatever I yeah. want to. So, I, you know, as a stand-up comic, you don't like listening to anybody. Mm -hmm. That's basically why we got into it. We So we could be our own boss. And with a podcast, you could be your own boss too, so. If someone hasn't seen your comedy, they're interested in coming out and seeing you this weekend. What do you what do you like to discuss? What do you like to poke fun of? What's your kind of your go-to? It's, go -to? it's, it's uncomfortable comedy. It's okay. a little edgy, oh. so be a little PC. <laughs> which I don't feel like. I feel like the people that come to a comedy club now, they do research on the comics. Yeah. And they also just want to laugh. They're uh -huh. so afraid, you know, they're living in a world where you, you gotta walk on eggshells. So when they come in a comedy club, they're like, please just make yeah. me laugh. I don't wanna, you know, so I don't think the crowds are getting even more uptight. I think they're okay, good. Yeah, which is good for us. Your dad also, though, yeah, you have dad, an eight-year-old yeah. son. Does that does family well, life enter? Oh yeah, definitely. There's a ton of material <laughs> there. You know, just dating and having a kid too is also, you know, being a. How single is dad. the dating life going? It's going good. You know, it's good because I could use it for excuse to get out of a date. Oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah you, know, uh, you know, my ex just dropped them off so I can't go out, you know, which is perfect. <laughs> there you go. No one can argue with that one. Yeah, or you kick them out in the morning. Like, my son's coming at like 7 a.m. You know. <laughs> perfect. Do people buy that one? Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, look, my They're baby. They're not anymore. Yeah, they look, my baby mom is a little crazy, so you might want to get out of here before she shows up. Okay, no problem. <laughs> and you can't really do a follow-up. If you're just dating, you can't do a follow-up question to that. You know, the girls just got to be like, okay. Yeah, baby exactly. I'd be the same way. Like, if some woman said, look, my, my ex is, is nuts and he's coming here at 7 a.m. I'm like, I'll leave tonight. <laughs> no chance of running in together. Yeah. How do you like being a dad, though? How is it? it? I, my, my son is four, so uh, give me some insight on what I love I, it. I mean, you know, we have such a great bond. You know, we like the same stuff. And now he's into pro wrestling. Uh -huh. I was into it when I was a kid until I was about 14, and then I got out of it. And now I'm back into it because he just loves it. Oh, so, good. So it constantly, you know, yeah. no, it's great. It's like having a little buddy, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. 
he keeps telling me, Dad, you got to get a girlfriend. I'm like, well, I'm, then, you know, we might have to share the TV. He's like, <laughs> what do you mean? I go, if she's over, we can't just watch wrestling and the Three Stooges. He's like, why not? I go, because most girls, are, I go, maybe once in a while. Yeah. I go, we're going to have to put, like, the voice or something like that. He's like, no, what, then forget it. Forget it, no. He goes, why can't you go in the other room and watch TV? I go, that's not going to work. So, well, you're teaching him early. Yeah, we like that. I go, we no, like we got to well, bring him to Florida. We have a lot of wrestling down here. So. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. All right. Well, we liked having you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, Dave. You're interested in seeing more of Jim, more Jim's comedy. There's the information, Side Splitters, where it's all at. Thank you again. Keep up I the know, good work. Keep your time. Come back it. anytime. Thank you.